父と母の面影浮かぶ。And we're back with another episode of F1 Manager 23. Second in the week. We are really on a roll here, people. We're back. And we've got the Belgium Grand Prix coming up in four days' time. Not a lot of in game time to actually get some upgrades in. Obviously, we had upgrades actually cooking already from the previous episode. And one of those was, I believe, I think it was chassis, was it? Yeah, we're manufacturing. Yeah, because I literally just set before I started recording, I've set two chassis components. To, to be made because that was one of the upgrades that got finished uh front wing um we already had that one rear wing side pods Un underfloor was another upgrade actually because underfloor I, I actually think i forgot we did an underfloor upgrade i didn't have it installed onto the car so we actually left performance on the table potentially last episode because i didn't bother to check through the warehouse properly but now we have a fully up-to-date car hopefully uh that chassis unfortunately won't come in in time for this because it's going to take 10 days to manufacture but at least we have the new underfloor that i forgot to install in the last race so there is technically actually an upgrade coming into the belgium grand prix it's just one that was technically meant to already be there but we didn't install it so it may as well be a new upgrade so hopefully that will see us boost a little bit in performance because it was a little frustrating to get so close to maybe a uh, better result but we just didn't have the overall pace, especially in the tyre wear phase, trying to save tyres. Um, really tricky in this Williams car compared to, I, I think, really the McLaren as well that we had in previous seasons was really good at saving tyres whilst still maintaining pace. Whereas this Williams car, it's a bit trickier. Also, it might be slightly because obviously we're playing this full season on hard mode. Whereas in the McLaren career, uh, hard mode wasn't even a thing in the game until about halfway through the second season. Um, and just Red Bull are very good as a team. So we need to get closer to them if we want to do anything on trying to challenge them for the Constructors' Championship and maybe try and push Oscar on towards catching Verstappen. But right now, he's looking like he is in real life. A man in form, 172 points. Let's see. Let's go to Quali. I'm going to get into Quali a lot quicker than I thought, actually, because I forgot Belgium uh, is a sprint weekend here in this calendar we've got. Piastri P4, Sonoda P9, one practice session to try and get a baseline set up and then we'll do one changeover into quality everyone's in the same boat but hoping we can find something out but science up there Leclerc Lando good to see for us Verstappen's down in P12 but he's on the hard so I think he's just masking some pace both drivers on 54% setup satisfaction so we're gonna have to hope for a mega one changeover into quality on this setup to try and nail it right adjust the setup once and I, I have a good feeling that we've nailed it pretty all right. So, yeah, we're just going to send them out straight away. We'll send out Piastri first as we were sending Sonoda out first quite a few times last time. And it looks like one of the Ferraris joining us out straight away. Right, at the moment, Piastri's top in the session and he's he's pulled some sort of blind lap out because Sonoda's just done a second run and he's only managed P3 two tenths off Leclerc. So it just shows... A mega job that Piastri's done. Uh, but it's only Q1. Let's see how it goes through the sessions. Because typically, Sonoda's actually turned up by the time we get to Q3. Uh, but that's quite promising, I guess, for, for both of us to be up there. One in three right now. Let's see how it progresses. But I think we should be comfy for Q2 now. And in terms of our setup, now we go into Q2. We can actually see what our car setup looked like. 67% for Piastri. 78 for Sonoda, actually. So surprisingly, Piastri's less comfortable with the car. But he's actually going quicker at the moment. So that's that's pretty all right. But a little bit frustrated we couldn't get into an 80% mark. At least with one of the drivers. So maybe I didn't put this up as well. But it's difficult in a sprint race. You've only got that one moment to change the setup. And then it's locked in. All right, Sonoda with a, well, five tenths off P1 right now. Off Lando Norris there. So not such a hot set of runs for both our drivers. Ugh, what is going on there? Five tenths off Sonoda. And now Piazza. Piastri's eight tenths off P1. I know there was a decent amount of traffic because everyone's, it's so out of sync when you're going for multiple, like two runs in a row, but that's crazy. Um, we definitely have to go again. Absolutely. Piastri's maybe in the drop zone. That's ridiculous because, yeah, this happens yet to set a time. Now he's set a time. That's 0.07 off. That's mad. Right, they're both out. I think that's a bit of clean air for Sonoda. That's a decent amount of clean air for Piastri. Really hope they just get a clean run in because they're both on fresh tyres, fueled up for one flying lap. This has to be it. 
especially for Piastri. This has to be it to get him thrown to the top 10. Yuki, even that, I want to see some improvement just so we feel more confident going into Q3. Right, Yuki's on his flyer. Green first sector for both drivers. Purple middle sector. That's more like it from Yuki Tsunoda. Let's see how it is as we go across the line right now. One second off the pace is ridiculous. That's better. Three tenths still, though. Where, where's the pace gone from Q2? What happened there? Or maybe just everyone else didn't turn up and it kind of gave us a false sense of how quick we were around this circuit. Because Piastri's yellow in the middle sector, crosses the line, gets into the top 10. But he's one second off Lando Norris. That's mad. That is mad. We absolutely need to find better pace in the top 10 shootout. Right, send both drivers out first. So hopefully there's no traffic for them on circuit. I hope. I mean, there's plenty of room there. I don't think he's going to catch Russell. I hope not. Uh, ooh, okay, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's just going to avoid Russell there. Get out nice and early. Let's see what he sets. So 139.2. What can Sonoda do? This will give an indication of how good that lap was. Sonoda. Oh, 0.036 off. Oh, Verstappen goes quicker by a tenth. But they're quite closely matched. But... It won't matter if they're closely matched but slow. But right now, Verstappen one-tenth quicker only, which is promising. I want to see where Lando is because he was looking so quick in, uh, in the previous session. So let's speed that up. Lando coming through for his first lap. And he goes quickest. It's close, though. It's a lot closer than Q2. But clearly, McLaren have brought upgrades, at least for Lando Norris, because he's looking mighty quick right now. Right, both drivers out. Sonoda's in a bit of a car train here. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Piastri's a bit better in cleaner air. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Right now, Lando on provisional pole in the McLaren. The reigning champion, remember. And Verstappen P2. It's green. It's an identical exactly. green first sector, yellow middle sector. That's a bit frustrating. What's it going to be by the end of it? We're locking out the second row at least, which is decent for a sprint race as well because we can elevate our position. But Leclerc comes in for a better time. Sonoda can't improve. Piastri, can he go better? No, he can't improve either. So we're P4 and 5 as Leclerc goes better. And he's on the front row, not Verstappen. 4 5 still okay. We can improve on that in the sprint for the full Grand Prix. And there's, there's a couple of points on offer for the sprint as well, which is good. So, yeah, okay. It, it could be worse. You know, at one point in Q2, it was looking pretty dire. Right, sprint time. I think we're just going to go for both medium tyres. Uh, oh, what the hell? Car park damage. Oh, no. Piastri's engine's been worn to hell. 40 not. How do we get that low on that engine? We were fine pre-practice. I even put the engine on low. Ah, uh, that's a little bit of mismanagement for me on Piastri's side. That's a little bit frustrating. That's going to hurt him a little bit in terms of pure performance, but we can't do anything about it now. Part firm, we can't break that, otherwise we'll get a penalty. I was going to say, uh, yeah, I think medium tyre is the best way to go. Soft will be quick off the line, but it's going to start wearing very quickly. I think the medium will be much better, especially by the end of the race. And I'm actually, uh, the car part damage here is a little bit of a knock, but I, generally, I think the car can go quicker in the race. Belgium's been a pretty good one for me on the game of managing the race. So I'm confident about that. I just hope that the underfloor upgrade has worked a bit, but also, you know, Red Bull were up there. Lando's up there with McLaren, so it's gonna be tough. Here we are, the sprint around Spa-Francorchamps. Lights out, and where we go for this sprint here in Spa. It's a mediocre start for Piastri and Sonoda as the two of them are nearly side by side, but neither challenging the Red Bulls or Lando Norris. 15 lap sprint, what can we do here? Right now, just gonna leave them on aggression. Let's see, let's see if Piastri can get on the back and overtake Verstappen. Verstappen might fancy an overtake on his own teammate here. Leclerc, can he make a move? No, no one's budging. It's a big, it's already a bit of a train going on here, down that straight. Oh, go on Piastri, go on. No, oh. Verstappen opened up the door there a little bit by having a go at Leclerc. And Leclerc's going very defensive. I wonder. Come on. I think uh, clearly Lando's looking so quick. He's nearly a second ahead of Leclerc. And Leclerc's a bit of a bottleneck here. We need to make something happen. Verstappen needs to make something happen because Leclerc's actually slowing us down. Our DRS is activated now. And Leclerc's actually using that DRS 
to gain on Lando and actually pull away from Max a little bit. And that might be our chance. In terms of tyres, we're the only ones on mediums. I've only just clocked that. Um, really hoping that those softs start to wear out. And actually, to be fair, the fact we're on mediums, we've actually done well to be, still be here in P4-5. Like, that's very promising for us. Highways looking good. We're still in the 90s, which is decent. I I'm hoping lap 10, lap 10 onwards, those last five laps, that's where we can operate at a higher level, I'm hoping, on the mediums. We're just about sticking within one second of his stap and might need a bit of deploy here just to uh, get back time. within that one <laughs> second of DRS. Right, 10 laps to go. I uh, actually missed where this overtake happened and even the game didn't show me a replay, but Leclerc's overtaken Lando Norris for P1. So after actually saying Leclerc was too slow at the start of the race, he's actually really proved me wrong and he's in the lead now. We aren't within one second of Verstappen uh, but we're just biding our time. Piastri's actually a bit slower than Sonoda, so I'm going to let him by. See what he can do. Oh, Vettel's past Piastri. Vettel's just past Piastri. I feel like maybe we should start fully pushing, I think, with uh, seven laps to go. I reckon I reckon we can lean on lean on the tyre enough that we just, just go for it. And Sonoda's now... Yeah, Sonoda's within half a second. Here we go. Here we go. It's time to start cooking. It's time to start cooking. Come on, Sonoda. Let's do this. I want to see an overtake here swiftly on Verstappen. And then we get on the back of this fight between Leclerc and Lando Norris. Come on, Yuki. You can do it. He's in the slipstream. Fast up of the Grand Prix, which is good. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, no. Verstappen's just gaining enough with DRS at the moment. The Astri's trying to get past Vettel. And it's not really working for us right now. Sonoda... Just getting, we're just getting stuck in a DRS train. This is very frustrating right now for both drivers. Just can't make something happen. Oh, come on, Piastri. Come on, come on. Around the outside to the inside for the next corner. Down the hill in sector two. Come on, Piastri. We need this. We need a bit of good momentum going. Yes. Pass one car. Next. Sonoda. We just put him on high risk overtake. And he's finally, finally... Made a little uh, inroad there, and I've, oh, I've made sure to, uh, to say to Piastri, you can overtake Sonoda just in case they catch up to each other. Obviously, having let him by previously, but Sonoda up to P3. So good that we did swap them around because Sonoda is looking quicker right now. Maybe because of that engine, that lack of engine damage for Sonoda's car, but whatever the case, he is the quicker man, and good thing that we released him because now he can maybe hopefully get onto the back of Leclerc. Whereas Verstappen, hopefully, he's not going to bother us too much and we can look forwards rather than backwards. Uh, the same can't be said for Piastri, who is looking backwards as Vettel is still within his range. And McLaren definitely have made step forwards with an upgrade. They definitely have. I'm going to go deploy with Sonoda. Bit of pushing on fuel. Let's see what they can do. Tire wear wise, yeah, still 10% ahead, which is good. It's calm. Uh, let's go deploy here. Oh, no. Vettel, stay away from us. Vettel, stay away. Stay away. Okay, calm. We've got DRS on Verstappen, which is good. Oh, those two are side by side. This is a fight for the sprint win. Lando Norris versus Leclerc. I'm really begging Sonoda can get involved as we get into the last three laps of this Grand Prix. Oh, Piastri. Three laps to go. Tucked up behind Verstappen. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on. As the uh, sun goes down and it's a... Uh, what, what does this filter look like? We're in the, in the, in the Dune film. What's going on here? Right. Catching up. Come on. Verstappen with no DRS to help him. Dive down the inside. Come on. Come on. Get that P4. No. Piastri, come on, mate. This is your championship rival you're trying to catch up to. Big dive on the inside. Surely those softs are wearing. And he can't keep up with this mid-corner. Piastri round the outside. Verstappen still fights him. This is actually turning into an incredible uh, battle, but Piastri is going to maybe get the better. No, Verstappen is still there. You can just tell that Red Bull's a bit quicker than us in terms of pure pace, but the tyre wear is surely a factor as Sonoda is getting up into P2 now around the outside of the man who's looked so quick all afternoon, Lando Norris. Sonoda up to P. Oh, he's not quite... You can tell our car's just qu not quite quick enough. This is massively right now is the tyre. The tyre wear is the thing that's getting us there. But you can tell in those mid-corner moments that they're just, they've got a quicker car. Because Piastri's still not past Verstappen then. And Sonoda, 
He's, ooh, he's just eked ahead of Lando, but I'm not convinced yet. And now we've run out of battery. We're through into P1, though. Oh, go on, go on. He's going to be a sitting duck, though, on the main straight. Sonoda's in the lead, but he's going to be an absolute sitting duck on this back straight. And Verstappen's not, uh, Verstappen's not been uh, passed by Piastri. Ah, uh, this is going to be painful. Oh, no, no, no. Defend. Defend, Sonoda. Defend, please, with your life. Oh, thank God. He's done well there. He's done well to defend. Piastri, mate, come on. Get the staff in here just for one point in the championship, please. Oh, yellow flat. Oh, Joe Guan Yu's locked up. He's gone straight on, I think that was. He's lost time. Is that going to be a late yellow or yellow flag? Don't think so. All right, last lap. So no, let's just harvest here because we need to save battery for the uh, end point. Harvest, harvest, harvest. I don't mind going behind here, actually, to be fair, with Sonoda. You want to overtake us? Overtake us, mate. Okay, lift of course they're not going to overtake us. They want DRS. Lovely. Right, good bit of uh, good bit of ERS usage there, though, to, to harvest. Because Leclerc now comes for us again. I don't know about Piastri getting the snapping, but I'm really begging that Sonoda here can keep ahead of Piastri. Let's use a bit of fuel down this straight. Look at that rear wing. Oh, Leclerc pulls out. No, no, no. Keep going, Sonoda. Keep going. Fight that, Sonoda. Fight that. Oh, he goes back down the inside. Bit of deploy. Deploy in the mid, mid sector, please. Please keep that position around the outside. This is going to go all the way to the end, I think. Come on, Sonoda. Keep your foot in. Yes. He's kept his foot in. He's got the inside line. He's got the better racing line. Meanwhile, Piastri there, you can see in the background, just can't make headway on Verstappen. But Sonoda remains in first place. And we've got a bit of battery to use. Let's just harvest in this next little section here. And then go to deploy. Use it all. Use it all. Use it all. Oh, God, this is nervous. But can Yuki Sonoda get... The sprint win. This would be an amazing switch around. Hey, maybe it was a good thing we took a break from this series because we've taken a break and all of a sudden now Sonoda is, is doing decently, you know? He's, he's doing very decently because here he goes. Yuki Sonoda gets the sprint win in Belgium. And remember, this was the place where Sonoda got his first ever win, a full Grand Prix win, in Formula 1 in Season 2. When we were managing McLaren, Sonoda, in the Williams, got the Grand Prix win. He returns a season later and gets the sprint win and sets himself up for maybe the double whammy. Oh, I really hope we can get the win with Sonoda in, uh, in the full Grand Prix. That would be poetry coming back to Spa and him getting another win like he did. You know, that was that that race in season two. That's what impressed me about him and Williams. That convinced me to maybe move to Williams to manage them. So it'd be quite something if, they, if we can get the win for him uh, in the full race. A little bit annoyed that Piastri in the end of it couldn't get the staff in. You know, I know it's only for one point, but, you know... I, th I think that engine wear is hurting him, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I think it'll hurt him more to be in traffic if we change the engine. Strategy-wise, there is a two-stop available. There's even a one-stop that's very aggressive, soft to medium. But I'm thinking the medium to hard one-stop is the way to go. Uh, that would be pitting around lap 16. Pretty much when we pit for the sprint. We could probably go longer, though, to be fair. Because we were actually still... We had a decent amount of tyre wear still left in the tank so we could probably go longer like lap 19 maybe um for that maybe go like lap 18 for Sonoda because you know he's, he wears out his tires a bit more um I think if AI do this one stop they're gonna have to do a lot of tire saving so I think we go hard or harder step because it worked for us in the sprint so why why change things let's go for a harder step again in the full race We've got 44 laps ahead of us here in Spa as we get ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. Yuki Tsunoda will be hoping things go his way today. They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole, but can they carry it through to the end? 
So let's see what today has in store, shall we? Get ready, it's the Belgian Grand Prix. Lights out and away we go from pole position for Yuki Tsunoda. Hopefully into turn one he can keep it. I can see a few medium tyres for people. So there are people in the same boat as us. Whether they're trying a one stop onto hards we'll see. But Sonoda right now at the start of the race keeps P1. Piastri down to P6. He's been overtaken by Vettel. I fear that Piastri is going to have a damage limitation race today with that engine wear. But Sonoda, he is in form right now off the back of that sprint win. I really want, want to get him the win today. I really do. Really do. Right now, doing well to keep Lando at bay, uh, who's creeped up to P2, Leclerc, P3, Verstappen, P4. Two Ferraris a bit close to, to Piastri. I'm hoping they don't annoy us again, like last episode. Uh, right now, just though, let's fast forward this through and get through the first lap. Then we're going to bring the fuel down just to not over push that a bit. We'll stay, on, uh, we'll stay on deploy for a little bit just so we can uh, stay ahead. But um, yep. what, uh, yeah, Lando's on soft. So I expect him to be quicker. Even if he overtakes us, let's not get too worried about that. Because he, he should be quicker right now in this phase of the Grand Prix on a softer compound attire. It's going to be about later on uh, that I'm worried about. But right now, still looking all right, you know. Let's go neutral now, though, on the ERS. DRS available. And I fear Lando's probably going to come steaming past us at this point with the DRS. Oh, no. Okay, so Noda does well to defend. That's all right. That's all right. Let's go aggression here. Just cool things off a little. Oh, no. Let's take a look at the replay. Behrman's locked up. So Noda's down to P2, though. In that flash of uh, fast forwarding, he lost the position. Oh. Behrman in the house, locking up and going straight on. What's going on there? What's going on there? Sonoda. Oh, Russell spun it. Russell spun it. Okay, we won't have to worry about the Ferrari then. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he spun it fighting his own teammates. But yeah, like I said, Sonoda's down to P2. And now Ricardo's locked up. What's going on in this race? All are, the AI are That's making easy. all the mistakes in the world. Sonoda's down to P2, though, but he's within a second, at least, of Lando Norris. So you can have that DRS on him. So that'll help us out, really, to be honest. We can stick within that one second. Piastri's within one second of Vettel, hoping he can stick with him and pull away from Carlos Sainz. Right, Sonoda's right up the back of Lando Norris. And this is without any deploy in the ERS and fuel. So that's good. That's promising. That's good news for us. Might even go in standard, to be honest, just to settle the tyre temps down a bit. Piastri's also closing in on Vettel uh, in a similar sort of fashion. Five tenths there. So again, might go neutral just to cool the tyres down a bit. <laughs> And see how we go. Let's see how... Uh, can an overtake be made on this straight? Lap six. DRS will be open on the rear end, but not gaining enough here. But that's fine. We're just sticking with him. All right, Piastri just got overtaken by Carlos Sainz there. Can we push back? Let's go aggressive. Bit of deploy. Get him back, mate. Get him back. I think, our, I think the lowest position we can get with Piastri today is P7. Because clearly we've got way more pace than all these cars. Um... But I'd like to at least stay ahead of the Ferrari if we can. That would be good. But that engine wear, I think, is doing a number on him, unfortunately. Which is my bad. I didn't check the car parts. I, I thought we would have been fine because there was no warning yeah. beforehand. It was that one practice session after qualifying that did it. Oh, yellow flags, multiple cars. Who for? Oh, Russell. Oh, Russell's having an absolute nightmare of a race then. As he's... Oh, crashes with the Alpha Tauri. That's not good for him, but for us, no safety car or anything like that, no? Okay, no safety car, that's fine. Sonoda's doing very well to stick with Lando here, and we're saving tyres, and he's just wearing them out with those soft Penalty for Russell, as Sonoda on high fuel is gaining on the McLaren a bit. I feel like he could actually maybe make a move this time, maybe, I don't know. No, we're losing, we lose quite a lot of time going up a rouge, you know. The McLaren's very strong up there as, there we go, Piastri has retaken Carlos Sainz into Rouge, up Radion, 
and down the Kemmel straight. Finishes off the move. Good stuff. Right, well, Leclerc's all over the back of this. He's pretty much pushing us through these corners. So we're having to push now a bit with Yuki. To be honest, we've done really well on this tyre. We can definitely push even harder, I think. I think if we're going on to hards, we should push harder because we know we're going to come in. Like, I think that I think all these other medium tire runners, they're eking their tire out to softs. So I think we should push like a stabbed rat right now, knowing that we're going on hards. And just like that, Sonoda was on the back of Lando Norris, hoping to make a move here. Into turn one even, as Sonoda sets a fast after the Grand Prix. There you go, Sonoda into the lead of the race. Can we control things from here? That's my hope. That's my hope. Let's go. Let's go indeed, Yuki. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Great stuff. Great stuff. And Piastri might even get past Lando Norris. Uh, Sebastian Vettel, sorry. So both us Williams cars overtaking our respective McLarens, which is very good. Piastri with the fast up the Grand Prix, showing both drivers have good pace in the car. Piastri now on the back of Max Verstappen. Things are starting to come alive for us here in this Williams car. Uh, Lando, ooh, Lando Rio took us briefly there. Very briefly. Bit of fuel usage. And there we go. Piastri's pass for Sappen as well. Now, this was the seventh down the Kemmel straight. Good move down the inside. Solid, solid, solid. The only thing I'm worried about is the fact they're going on softs and we're going on hards. I don't know if anyone else is going to do that. But, I mean, it's still, even with the pushing we're doing, we could still commit to that that one stop on me, uh, on, on softs, maybe. I don't know. But right now, I'm, I'm feeling good about pushing now and doing what we did in the sprint. Oh, virtual safety guard. Oh, absolutely having to have to pit here. Absolutely pitting here. This is good for us. This is good because actually everyone technically should pit under this, uh, this virtual safety guard. And that is going to open up the race for us. Oh, what's happened there with Nick DeVries? Piastri, P4. Hoping the double stat works. I hope it does. I hope it does. All right, let's uh, save fuel. Say fuel, harvest, harvest. Right, Sonoda's in, and Piastri's going to be in as well. Virtual safety guard's still out, so we will gain with this pit stop, with virtual safety guard being out. Please be a good pit stop, please be a good pit stop. Lando's in as well, Leclerc's not coming, so that's a mistake in my opinion. Lando's coming, that makes sense, because he was on sops. But Leclerc and Verstappen have stayed out, that's a mistake in my opinion, and it's going to be a good double stack. Not really held up too much there. Oh, good. 2.5, 2.3. Great stuff for the double stack. Great stuff for the double stack. Calm that down. Okay. We're ending. It's time to push. Time to push. Give it everything you've got right now, lads. Sonoda's there in P3. There is Sainz, 2.6. That's the good thing about a virtual safety car is you don't bunch up. Ones who are out the pit. So we've got actually a gap now to let the tyre warm up for Sonoda. Piastri has the same similar gap to Vettel, which is good. Uh, and I think the Red Bulls have made a mistake. They're going to go long, yeah, sure, and be on soft later. But they've lost track position here. And they're, 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 obviously, they're going to lose a whole pit stop, right? It's green, so green, yeah. green. And right now, let's just get these tyre temps up. And Sonoda's actually gaining on Verstappen rapidly. Let's just go aggressive, though, now. And just calm things down a bit. Yellows. What for? Oh, competitor crashed. Who? Who's crashed? Who's crashed? What's happened now? Oh, another virtual safety guard. Okay. Oh, another virtual safety guard. Oh, no. Okay, now Red Bull. If Red Bull don't pit now, they're idiots. Because they've got another opportunity to, to get a free pit stop. But who's crashed? Oh, it's DeFries. No shock or He's been locking up all race long. We've got a yellow flag here. Oh, it's Joe Gran Yu as well. Oh, DeFries is already out, sorry. Is this Joe Gran Yu who actually calls the virtual safety guard now? Oh, just a big spin, the Aston Martin. All right, virtual safety guard. Ending. Push, attack, deploy. Let's go, go, go. Push like an absolute stabbed rat. Oh, what's that? What's that replay? Don't know what that is. Oh, multiple cars. Multiple cars off the virtual safety car. What's happening today with some of these AI? Oliver Bear, uh, Bearman caught up in it again. Oh, it's a bad day for Alpha Tauri. It's a bad day. <laughs> it's a bad day for Alpha Tauri. Bearman caught on the wares. Oh, it's a safety car now. Is it too late to pit? Is it too late to pit? 
for, so for softs, for Piastri. Is it too late to pit? Yes, it is too late to pit. Um, cancel pit stop. Stay out. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a 1-3 for us, but we'll be on hards. And these lot... Oh, no, they're on hards as well. Okay, no. Okay, no. We can work with that. Norris might be a threat on mediums, but we can work with that. Right, safety guard's going to come in. So we're getting ready to go. So this is it then. Um, Lando's on mediums, but already a bit more worn. Leclerc came out in third place after all of that, actually. But Piastri's still ahead of his staff, which is good at least. Um, but it wasn't for the safety car. If we were just doing virtuals, I think Piastri would have been P3. Um, because obviously you go slower on the safety car. So Sonoda leads. Piastri P4. It's good that Leclerc and Verstappen are on hard. That works for us. Worried a bit by Lando, but we can push harder than Lando because he's on mediums. The safety car's in the pit lane. All right, fast forwarding. Let's go. Into the control line. Sonoda bolts a bit early. And Piastri, I really hope he's not under pressure from Verstappen straight away. Come on, mate. Come on. Just stick with Leclerc there. Stick with Leclerc. Verstappen looks very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Meanwhile, Lando looks even worse. Oh, my Lord. He's quick. He's quick. The Sonoda keeps it. And Piastri keeps it. Okay. Not bad. Right, I'm going to have to go on neutral now with uh, Sonoda. Because um, he's going to run out of ERS soon. At least we've got a lot of fuel to burn. Tire attempts wise, I'm just going aggressive right now. Because we do need to eke out the hards. We can't just push on them every lap. Uh, Piastri in a big sandwich with the Red Bulls. Leclerc's... Thankfully, Leclerc's not catching Lando. So all we've got to worry about is the McLaren. All we've got to worry about is our old driver, the reigning champ. Um, and remember, weren't we in a similar position last season, but the other way around? We were managing Lando... And we were trying to chase after Sonoda and the Williams and we couldn't do it. Let's hope the same might happen again and we and Lando and McLaren can't do it. Right now, they're down the inside though. They've got that advantage on the medium compound. But hopefully later on, the fact we're on the hards, the tire wear is going to be there. Hopefully it's going to pay dividends later. Yuki gets very angry right now, but we're playing the long game. We're playing the long game. Right, Lando's pulling away a little bit. We're still within one second, which is helping us defend against Leclerc. Keeping the tyres in check. And Leclerc is slowly going to come down to ours, I think, in terms of tyre wear. So, just need to keep at it like this. Piastri pushed a bit harder because, um, well, he's been overtaken by Verstappen there. So, happened. pushing him harder didn't now even help. He just got overtaken. Stafford. We're gaining back on Lando, which is good. Whilst trying to keep the tyres. Leclerc is now 4% away from us. So, soon Leclerc will be on the same tyre wear as us. And maybe we can worry a bit less about him right now. Sonoda looking to make a move, a repass. I feel like Lando's struggling a bit on race pace now. Don't make, don't overtake him yet. Yep, do it later. Yep, do it here, do it here. Down the straight. Oh, Verstappen's quick now, you know. Verstappen's right on the back. Could he come in for a huge upset? Let's go a bit of deploy. Hopefully the Red Bulls fight each other. There we go, there we go. Yuki on the outside with some battery use. Burning all this extra fuel we've got from the safety car. He gets into the lead. Or he's trying to at least because there's a ding-dong battle going on with him. And Lando Norris is unfortunately on the opposite, opposite end of the spectrum. Piastri is getting overtaken by McLaren. But Yuki's through. Yuki's through into P1. Yep, Lando is fighting that all the way till that corner. But he's through, he's through. Right, sit rep, lap 31. Sonoda still leads. Leclerc's now second. Verstappen's now third. Lando's falling away down to P4 and might even uh, meet Sebastian Vettel. And Piastri is hanging onto the back of Vettel, which is promising. Bit of an uptick in pace. And I'm hoping that tyre wear starts to creep in for both McLarens. So Piastri could be up to P4. And then we'll see, then we'll see. Leclerc, 2% tyre wear off Sonoda. I'm hoping that equalises and it's a fairer fight. Right, they're on similar tyre wear now, but you can clearly see with 10 laps to go, Leclerc's overtaken us. But we're right up his gearbox. Really hoping Sonoda has what it takes to make this overtake. Come on. He's going to do it here. Bit early. Uh, at turn one with 10 laps to go. I'd rather him do it on the main straight, but it is what it is. He's done that without using ERS, which is good. Leclerc probably going to come back at this, but... 
And Piastri, meanwhile, he's got past Vettel. Oh, he's trying to get past Vettel. He's fight. He's having to fight Vettel quite hard here. And Lando's in his own world. So that's a bit frustrating. I would love to get Piastri up to P4. Oh, competitors crash. Don't know who it is. Gasly. Gasly spun. Vettel's fallen off. And now we're actually fighting the Ferrari with Piastri. So Piastri's still fighting for P5. Now it's with a Ferrari, not Sebastian Vettel. Lando's still in a world of his own. That's, I don't think we're going to get P4. That's a massive gap. But can Piastri at least get P5 and hold on to it, I hope. And Sonoda, he's still not getting past Leclerc. Uh, oh, what's happened? No! Let's see what happened there. Oh, he's now, crashed with the car, Ferrari. Yes. Oh, Piastri, he's no. He's making errors like Sonoda was doing in the first part of the season. Inevitable. He's crashed with Sainz. A tough race becomes a disaster for Oscar Piastri. It's been quite a crash. Oh, it's quite funny how it's switched round. I took that break from this series, and now Piastri's the one having incidents in the race. I mean, it's my fault for having him in that position because he should have had a better engine. He's still in the race, though, to be fair, actually. He's still in the race, but has he got damage? I don't think he's actually got damage. Oh, he's got no damage. Okay. He's got no damage, so you can actually still go on in this race, but he's now only fighting for P9. Science gets a five-second penalty, which vindicates Piastri. That was all Science's fault then. The FI have decided, so not even his fault, actually. So it's not really like Sonoda. You know, when Sonoda was crashing before, it was his own fault. Piastri here, taken out by Science. And Sonoda's in the lead. Oh! I didn't realise that. I didn't realise that. Again, though, he's losing so much time here. Red Bull are very good into Eau Rouge. Very good into Eau Rouge. A bit too good. We can't find a way past him. Oh, no. No! So here we go. Head what happened? No. No, he crashed. It's certainly inviting. Where? Where did he crash? He was doing fine. I'm not even on aggressive overtake mode, by the way. I've been on neutral overtake mode the entire time. And he's broke. Oh, he's broken his front wing and chassis. Now, is that, Where has that is even that happened? Is he locked up? This one is involving Yuki or Span? Oh, oh, no. Yuki. Both my drivers have bottled it. Oh, well, Yuki's bottled it. Piastri got crashed into. The fairy tale's over. I I actually was feeling so good about winning this race. I, we would have won the race. We would have won the race. But Sonoda's made a mistake. You know what I said last episode? I'm going to be ruthless in, this, in the rest of the se season. Because it's our last season on the game. And screw it. Sonoda, I love you, mate. You're amazing in my F123 career mode. Oh, okay. You did cook a bit in the sprint. You want to sprint. But the way you bottled this Grand Prix win, you're out. You're out, mate. You're out. You're out. It's harsh. It's harsh. But it's for the content. It's for the content. Oh, give me a break. After all of that, Verstappen's going to get first place, isn't he? Sonoda's now finally been caught up by everyone. So with that damage, he's going to go down and down and down. Piastri's in no man's land. What a annoying end to this. Please don't say this happens going to win this. Come on. Leclerc. Oh my God. He's actually going to win it. Leclerc's out. On the last lap, Leclerc's lost the lead. So, this happens going to win. And he's going to gain more points in the championship. Oh, it's a 1 2 for Red Bull. Again, this happens won it. Going to gain more in the championship. All of a sudden, after such a thrilling, you know, season two, where we won with McLaren, the beginning of the season was quite thrilling with Williams here. This is turning more into how it was in season one. Red Bull winning everything. And Verstappen's become his old self again. Where was, where's the Verstappen from season two where he's bottling things? Huh? Seven and eight. Should have been first and fifth at least. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, oh wow. Piastri's not even second in the championship now. Leclerc is. It's a 1-2 for Red Bull in the, in the championship. Constructors-wise, we lose more points. I was really excited by my return to this, uh, this season. But for a send-off season on this game, it's going to be very tricky to overturn things here. And this is why, and this is why we're going to be harsh with our drivers. Because we need some form of entertainment in the next episode. Guys, if you have enjoyed this one nonetheless... 
bit frustrating at the end was join in the middle with the sprint win and then hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly full-on content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.